Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm back up at Glade Park. So some of you remember this road here, parked right off to the side, right here. And yeah, my wife is actually here with me today, but depending on how she feels, she may or may not get out rock hunting with me. Eh, we'll see. But yeah, so those, I, I didn't think I was gonna come back here until I cut that agate open, remember? And it looked so nice inside and I was like, okay let's find some more of those and it was right around here it was just over that hill where i found that one so it's coming out here somewhere close maybe maybe i'll even check the other side of the road i don't know we'll see so wish us luck today oh and as always here's the gps coordinates to this place okay let's go see if we can find some of those agates right off the bat there's the car <laughs> there's some agate just sitting in the road right there doesn't look very very good though i'm looking more for those nodules so let's Head on over down the hill. All right, there are a number of small ones just sitting around here. See, they kind of got that white out exterior. These are very small, so I don't think there's gonna be much inside those. And there's ones kind of more like this. Okay, that one's big enough that might be willing to cut. Might be something good in there. And then right here, you can already see one that's just broken. Interesting. Don't see anything good in it, but maybe. That looks like one right there. Maybe. Well, we'll take it and cut it and see. Not sure if you can tell, but if you look in there, you can see some transparency and some colors going in there. Like little balls inside of it. It's very interesting. Little spheres. Huh. That looks like one of those larger pieces. Let's take a gander at it. Hmm. Don't see anything quality from the outside. Maybe I should keep a couple of the big ones and just cut into them and see if there's anything better further in. Here's this one washed off. Not much inside that one. Just pulled this out from under that bush. Looks right. Yeah, we'll cut into that one. Oh, and I'm just gonna quickly bring up, um, so, I'll take these home and cut them, and then if you don't see it cut open, and if, if it just goes to the next one, it's because I cut it and there really wasn't anything in it, and to just kind of save time, I just jump into the next one. Just reminding you about that. Okay, I just saw that. Look, it looks kind of like a jasper. Although on the outside, you don't see much. Hmm, that might be worth cutting. Yeah, why not? Here's this one cut open. Ooh, some colors in there. It's like a jasper. Really cool. Okay, now we're down at this secondary road. There we go, that looks right. That has that outside look, like the last one. All right, I think I saw something else over here. Yeah, this was kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, probably not. Not that. Could that possibly be something? Hmm. That's hard to tell, but because it might be something, we'll take that back as well. Now that one looks nice and white. Mm, pretty flat though. We'll still try it. And there's that one next to it. Um, maybe. That's the thing is, a lot of these are very hard to tell like you'll see the white on the outside and you're like oh i think that's one and then when you cut it open you just have a a chance that it'll look nice that looks like one potentially mm, maybe not good but we'll try it that looks like one yeah we'll cut it see there's one right there hmm don't know until we cut it and is that one there too? Uh, maybe. Not very good though. That one looks like it might be. Now, I'm pretty sure most of these are going to end up being duds. And it's just every now and then you get one that's really nice. But that's okay. As long as you get some nice ones, it's worth it. Oh, there's a, a thicker one right there. Oh, that's a big chunk. Okay. Looks like there might be some blue in that, actually. Okay, that's one I'm gonna take home and really clean off and maybe cut. 
this will be a good one to really test and see if these big chunks like this are worth anything. Here's this washed off. There really wasn't much in that one. Oh well. Well, looks like another large thick piece right there. Hmm. This one doesn't look nearly as good though. Yeah, I'll leave that one. I'll just go with that other one I just found. Now that looks like one that might be a little bigger. Maybe. Worth cutting at least. So the road's up there, and as I walked down, I found an old road that just goes like that. And definitely not used anymore. So this might be a really good spot to look for this stuff. And do we see anything right off the bat? Well, that looks promising. Okay. I'll take and cut that one too. Looks like it might actually have some different color in it, like yellow. That's interesting. It's just a kind of a solid chunk of the kind of agate. Yeah, see, it's not very good color. It's not terribly clear, but it is agate. Hmm. This looks like it might have some darker stuff on it. Oh, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was. Oh, it looks like it's some lichen growing on it. I don't know, though. Okay, we'll take that one home and wash it off really good. Okay, a couple of interesting things here. Okay, there's some more of that stuff. In there, what's that? Maybe. We'll take it back. Is that one? It's got an inter interesting shape to it. Hmm, maybe. Okay, that looks like something that would be worth taking back and cutting. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take that one back. Yeah, that looks like maybe something there. And it's better size than some. Okay, we'll take it and cut it. Maybe. No, something's going on in there. Okay, and maybe again. Okay, so right up there is that old road. And I came off it here, and there's a lot of white right here. So, that's hopeful. Yeah, we're going to really scour this spot. There might be some stuff here. Hey, look at that. A bullet. <laughs> I don't care about that. Um... Hmm, this one's very weird. We'll cut it. Yep, good white one looking here, maybe. Maybe. All right, definitely looks like some good potential here. So this looks very interesting. Yeah, I think I'll cut that. What is this? Hmm, once again, I think I'll cut that. Yeah, I think that's worth taking. Yeah, that's just a quartzite stream pebble. Well, that's a pretty stream pebble, isn't it? <laughs> so when I say true stream pebbles, I'm talking about this is a layer of conglomerate. So the actual rock unit is a conglomerate, which used to be a river. Delta, well, not delta, like a close to the mountains type river. So, but yeah, there might be some really cool rocks in it. There's another possibility. Is that another possibility? Mm, probably not, but eh, we'll cut it anyway. Okay, let's move up this way. Maybe this one? Mm, I don't know. This looks really big right here. Wow. Man, can you imagine if that's an agate? Which it kind of looks like from the outside. That's by far the biggest one I've seen out here. That's kind of in that nodule shape. Oh. Fingers crossed this ends up being something really good. Oh, please be. Please be an awesome agate. Okay, right through here I'm seeing a lot of the vein stuff. That one looks kind of interesting. Maybe I'll cut into that. So, here's a big chunk of it. Is that anything? Hmm, maybe. Oh, here's a nice big chunk of it. There's a big chunk of it. A chunk of it right there and some more chunks here so that it's definitely coming out right here well, that one looks like it has a little bit of red in the top and bottom hmm. so if you decide not to spend too much time washing this one off you can pretty much see what it looks like interesting though if you want any of this vein looking stuff like this there's a lot of this out here it's just not really good quality but there's definitely plenty of it
Well, that looks like it might be one. Yeah, that could be one. Here's an example of one broken open. As you can see, not looking that great, but you can tell it's kind of got that Chalcedony look to it. So I saw the tip of this poking out like that. So I grabbed it and it turned very dark. And I'm intrigued. I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be like a, a worn chunk of basalt. But you know what? Why not just give it a cut? We'll see. Maybe there's something in it. Maybe there's nothing. That looks intriguing right here. Ah, you can even actually see a little bit of the agate going through that, although it doesn't look terribly good. But there's enough there. It's worth cutting into and taking a closer look. A lot of the ones you'll find will be very flat like that. And there's probably not enough there to really make them worth keeping. Now, what do we have here? It's a broken one, but look at that orange in it. Wow. I haven't seen anything like this yet. Holy crap. Look at that orange. It's just in your face. Okay. Maybe there's color out here. Just showing you this after I kind of washed it off a bit. Didn't really need it, but it's just so cool. I had to look at it again. That's probably orange all the way through. It's just so cool. Here's another vein piece, which looks decent enough. I'll probably take that one back and wash it off. Maybe cut it. Here's this one washed off. You see cool little dots and patterns inside some of it. Neat. That one's not too bad either. So I'm, I'm definitely seeing better stuff as I come down. So the road is probably a good 150 feet up from me. And I've come down a ways. And the wash is just below me. So yeah, down here further, definitely getting some better possibilities. Oh, is that something else I see right there? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that looks good. I'll take that one back. That yeah, looks like one right there. Yep, that's probably one. We'll take that back and cut it open. That's nice and white. Very small one, but it looks nice. Well, that looks right. Yep. And over here, probably. And a little one down here. Yeah, now we're finding a bunch of little ones. And somebody lost a lens to their glasses. And here's another one broken open. This one's dark inside. So there's quite a variety of what can be on the center of them. Maybe it's just worth keeping all of them. Because what ha What if you find another one of those orange ones? Yep. Little tiny one there. Another tiny one here. You can see a little bit in there. Ooh, there might actually be some color in that one. Oh. No, not that one. Ooh, that one's very round. <laughs> so this one was very fractured, so I just broke it open. And you can see some uh, kind of pastel colors through that one. Interesting. Here's some more of the banded stuff, but look at those really thin lines of red. That's cool. Okay, I've actually walked further now. So I was just over there. And then as soon as I came across this wash area and came over to the other side, they're gone. You don't see them anymore. I've seen nothing since basically where that tree is. So something's going on here. I think there is a fault. So there's probably a fault along here the layer that we are getting them out of, which seems to be the conglomerate layer, disappears here, and now we have sandstone. Just stumbled across that. First, at a distance, I thought it was just like some melted aluminum or something, but then, no, that's a rock. It just has a funny pattern to it. Hiking back up the old road. And that looks like one right there. Oh, bigger than I thought. Good. Anyway, found this one. That one's kind of cool. A little bit of orange in there. Fun. Okay, once again, I've lost the layer. We're back into the red stuff. So I'm looking over on that hill, and I'm thinking, I think the top is sandstone. And I think this little bit of white is a thin layer that might actually be the conglomerate, and then it's red. So I wonder if you just kind of have to try and find that thin layer of it. Possibly. I'm not going to go over there today, though. I'm just going to go back up to the road and look on the other side of the road. Oh. The rain's coming down. It's a light rain, but it's raining. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up and check on the far side of the road, and then that'll probably be it for today. All right, I'm now on the other side of the road, the east side. Look at that. That's a good size right there. It's one of the bigger ones I found. Very good. 
Hey, look at that. I can already see a little bit of banding on the outside, so that one could be good. Just found this one. Nice big one. It's already broken, so it looks like maybe not good, but I'll cut it anyway just because it's big. And this little one. Oh, got a car coming up. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've been collecting along the side of the road, and it's done pretty well as well. So if you do come out here, um, and you find it hard going into the bushes and going down the hills and stuff, you can collect stuff along the side of the road for a fair distance. So I'm parked back there and I've come over here and this is about where it ends here as well. Which if you remember, this is where that ravine is kind of going down where I got stopped down there. So this is pretty much like a cutoff zone. You're probably not gonna find anything that way. So it's probably mostly all in that direction. I did collect a lot of small ones and ones that just look all the same. So I didn't film that. So I'm gonna cut them all open and I might find some good stuff. So I'm gonna put that all right here. So all this stuff I didn't film, but I did cut open. Here you go, here's the montage. Here's this one cut open. Hey, it's got some patterns in there. Not great colors but it is very interesting. Here's this one cut open. A little bit of it broke off. Mm, interesting. It does have kind of the same color and pattern of the, the veined agates. Here's this one cut open. Okay. Got some cool patterns going on in there. All right. This one shattered when I tried to cut it, but it's got some kind of jasper colors in there. Here's this tiny one cut open. Nice. Uh, I know the lighting isn't the best, but just wanted to quickly show you all of these. I cut so many open. You can see that volcanic rock there. I just cut all these open. Half of them are like volcanic rocks that don't look like much other than volcanic. And half of them are more of a, they're like a flint. They're just like a white gray. So many of them were just white gray. Very disappointing. I was really hoping for more. But alas, it looks like the vast majority of the stuff out there is not what you're hoping for. So I have a suspicion. Because all of that stuff yielded almost nothing, but yet, remember this one? That was just amazing. What I think happened is that most of what I cut open is volcanic rock and other things, and they weren't really the agates. And then the ones that were these nodule-like things, a lot of them are just white or gray. That's just the way they are. What I, what, what I think it is, is there's probably these veins of agate that are in the conglomerate layer, and there's a lot of those. But in the conglomerate, you get these, which are part of the conglomerate. And if you think about it, it's a bunch of pebbles in a river that got pushed downstream. So very few of what you're looking for is going to be this. And I think they may be farmed in the volcanic unit because a lot of the ones I cut open were volcanic rock. And you're just basically hoping to get lucky in finding a little bit of agate that formed in maybe a, an air bubble inside of the volcanic unit. And you're basically just trying to win the lottery, kind of. So, yeah probably not many of these out there and i'm heading back to the vehicle so i don't know what i got <laughs> i hope i got some amazing stuff but i don't know that orange one though that little teeny orange one that just screamed orange that got me excited so who knows you guys know of course you know i don't know yet until i cut everything open but i have a feeling there's going to be some interesting stuff and I can't wait to cut it because it could be stunning. I don't know. Keep in mind though, this area does seem to be fairly small. It's a fairly thin layer. It may continue further north. I don't think there's anything heading south further up the road. I think you kind of have to go back the way you came. Probably more on the west side. That's my guess, but I don't know for sure. So yeah, there might be more out here, who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And if you like this spot, come check it out. It's really easy. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.